Hi, Andrew Andrew here. We're outside of the Walter Kerr Theater. About to see Eris. It's now, an old-timey play about old-timey New York. It takes place in Washington Square Park. You know all those buildings around there? I'm so excited to see this because it seems like it's going to be a really meaty, meaty show. I love turn-of-the-century stuff. Me too. It's really a star-studded cast. Yeah, a lot of people from uh, stage and screen that we've seen before. Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey's in it. Supposedly he's making all the women swoon. Ooh. Jessica Chaston, the woman who was nominated for The Help. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, The Help, uh, the, um... The movie. The movie. Let's see if this old heiress has aged well, or if she's showing her age. Good one. Uh, so we're out of the first intermission of the heiress, and the story so far is... Is every story ever from this time period. <laughs> Sir, may I marry your daughter? Oh, do you have a fortune? No, I do not. Oh, well, then you can't marry her. Basically, it's a girl who is kind of a wallflower, an ugly duckling, and a charming man comes into town. But the thing is, she's not when her father isn't around. He's actually a very clever girl, but he has beaten her down because he blames her for the death of her mother, exactly. who died in childbirth. This is sort of the American Downton Abbey. While this stars people who are in very successful films and TV shows, namely Downton Abbey and The Help, about times in which society was different, those franchises are told in the language of today. This is, has all the stodginess of the era in which it was written and the era that it's about. Impressions so far, though? Yeah. I mean, are you into it? Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, it's, Yawn, I though. Mean, you, really? Oh. I'm about as displeased with this show as the father is with his daughter's uh, plans. Well, let's go back inside and see what happens at the second half of The Heiress. So this is quite the period piece. It sure is. It's and gosh, wouldn't it have been nice if they'd updated it a little bit? Through direction, they did update it at parts, but it was uneven and it was sporadically updated. There's moments, there are these moments where you're like, oh, this is coming together, this makes sense, this is poignant, this says something about its own time, and it reflects something about our time. But for the most part, it's like, no, it's basically sexism and slavery. The one bright spot was Judith Ivy. She was really hysterical. The curtain call is done as a posed photo, in the style of a photo that you'd see from the time. The thing is, the whole show is just as stodgy as a situation where you got to stand still for 10 minutes to get your gel print made. I kept on waiting for her to kill herself. I, I kept waiting for her to head a gabbler the, the hell out of this yeah. thing. Well, you know, I kind of blame the, the direction. I do too. Also, it's miscast. David Stratham, I think, is very miscast. I wanted Dan Stevens to be more slimy because you don't really get that the the the, the, um, the sliminess from him. At you know all. what? Real. Then there's a car. We got to get out of the way. There's a real uneconomic use of language. Just yeah. like it took everyone so long to get around to what they were trying to say, the play takes forever to get to its point, and there is scant subtext to be had in between. <laughs> Oh, gotta go. It's a, it's, it's a red light. Come on. It's a I, red light. You know it's a red light. You just said on the way over here it's a perfect storm of bad acting, script, and direction. Oh, yeah. two red lights for the Air S. Air S. At the, Wal at the Walter Kerr Theater. Okay, already, we're moving.